Hi there, I'm Joan Badger and today we're going to be looking at adding pages to our notebook file. Um, you'll notice that when you open up a brand new notebook file um, that it comes up as untitled and you can rename that later and it comes with one page for you ready to go. Um, this symbol up here is to add a page and when we click on it you'll notice that it continues to add pages the more we click it. And so as you're building your lesson or learning experience, you're going to want to add more pages. The other thing that you're going to notice is that it time and date stamps every single page. Um, that's the default. If you want to rename your page, so let's say this, this first page is going to be for your morning routine and you want to have a, a calendar or something on that, maybe we want to call this a calendar page. And you'll notice that we can just change that and um, as we start to build we can rename our pages. So here's an example of a lesson that has been created and you can see that on the side um, I've renamed each page according to what is on that page and it makes it much easier later on to um, be able to just quickly look and see what, what's on those pages rather than trying to guess what's in the picture. Um, the other thing to note is that you can rearrange your slides and the order that they're in. So if I wanted to have this first one, let's say, I can move it um, so that it's up top. So your slides are not stationary, they can be moved around and um, that's an important thing when you're creating your lesson. And you'll notice that the, on this particular lesson it's no longer um, saved as it's no longer called untitled because it's been saved as what's the secret number. So in order to save, we can just click on this uh, save button. Um, and if you've never saved it before, it'll ask you what you want to save it as. And you can name your, your file. The other thing that you can do is go to file, save as, um, and then you can name your file there and put it into the folder that you want to put it in. And that's pretty much it for adding pages to your file.